feel this day for a while now. And I'm not too proud of it, but it's me, Slaughter and Stand of it. Listen. Let me start like this, I've been fighting addiction for six and a half years It's my prison, I can't ask for help, afraid I'll be judged The world that I live is just gotta keep spinning I keep it from friends and they know what I'm hiding They want me to quit and believe I've been trying If I take a sip, just know that I slip And I know I'm killing myself and I'm dying But I feel the pride when I say I've been sober Last time I tried was around October I'm gonna leave change and I see change and I need change You just keep getting older, man, this shit is poison Sick and tired of looking in the mirror and feeling disappointed Do I make the choices or is it controlling me, taking this toll on me? I used to use it to escape, it made me feel great But now I feel trapped and now I feel alone And no one even knows if I'm holding stronger If I relapse Ladies and gentlemen, how y'all doing? Welcome to Live, Love, and Laugh. I am your host, Terry Higgins. That is Addiction by Burden World. Burden World Addiction, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to talk about addiction. Addiction. Ladies and gentlemen, we all have an addiction to something. And I'm going to say there's no such thing as a good addiction. Every addiction is bad. But sometimes your addiction can ruin your life. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a young man, 19 years old. 19 years old and got caught with an addiction. This young man is the son of the ex-quarterback, NFL quarterback by the name of John Kittner. This young man played for Florida Gators, was a quarterback, freshman quarterback, and has thrown his life away over his addiction. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this addiction is horrible. Now, ladies and gentlemen, people have addictions. You got a you got a drinking problem, you got a drug problem, you might have an eating problem, you might have a porn problem. This young man had a problem with underage children porn addiction he had a porn a child porn addiction 19 years old and was addicted to child pornography 19 years old and he got caught ladies and gentlemen this young man's name is Jalen Kittner Jalen Kittner now, for those that do not know who John Kidney is, like I said, he was an ex-NFL quarterback. Let's get into the story, shall we? Let's get into the story. Let's do that. So, ladies and gentlemen, John Kidner. Let me move out of the way. John Kidner, born September 21st, 1972, as a former American football quarterback in the NFL, NFL for the Seattle Seahawks. Cincinnati Bengals, Detroit Lions, and Dallas Cowboys. He played college football at Central Washington University and was signed by the Seahawks as an undrafted free agent in 1996. He is currently a football coach at Burleson High School. Now listen, I was actually a fan of John Kidner. I actually liked him. I thought he was a very decent quarterback when he played. Very decent quarterback. He wasn't great, but he was decent. He was decent. He was a very decent quarterback. But anyway, man, him and his wife um, are very religious people. Him and his wife, 
Um, John Kennedy is married to Jennifer Kenna, and they are very religious. So how do you, how do you explain to your church members and your friends, your family, that your son is addicted to child pornography? Out of all the addictions in the world, you can have a drug addiction. You can have a porn addiction. You can have a you can have a you can have an alcohol addiction. But to say that your child is addicted to child pornography is probably one of the worst addictions you could tell somebody that your child has. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into it. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Florida quarterback Jalen Kittner jailed on child pornography counts. Florida backup quarterback Jalen Kennedy was arrested Wednesday on two, two counts of distribution of child exploitation material and three counts of possession of child pornography. Kennedy, the 19-year-old son of former NFL quarterback John Kennedy, was arrested by the Gainesville Police Department and booked into the Alachua County Jail at 3.20 p.m. Eastern Time. He is expected to appear in court on Thursday morning to hear the charges against him, the GPD said. The five charges which need to be formalized by the state's attorney office are second-degree felonies that could result in a prison term up to 15 years and a fine up to $10,000. Kenneth has been suspended indefinitely by the football program. We are shocked and saddened to hear the news involving Jalen Kitna. The University of Florida Athletic Association said in a statement, these are extremely serious charges and the University of Florida and the UAA have zero tolerance for such behavior. According to a news release from the Gainesville Police Department, police received a tip from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children that a user had distribu distributed an image of child sexual abuse material on Discord, a social media platform. Police alleged that an investigation revealed Kenna was the probable owner of the Discord account. The Gainesville police said Kenner was interviewed by officers and that he told them he thought the images he shared were legal because he found them online. Police say they searched Kenner's electronic devices and found three more images of child sexual abuse material. A red shirt freshman Kenner appeared in four games this season, completing 10 of 14 passes for 181 yards and a touchdown. 19 years old, sharing child pornography information. So who are these others? Are they athletes too? He said he was sharing. He shared information. He shared it. And that's not the only, there was other, there was other material. They found other material. 19 years old. What's wrong? And the sad thing about it, this, this, Jalen Kenna did not have a girlfriend. So, are you attracted to children? Are you more attracted to children than you are to girls? I hope this young man gets the help that he needs. I, I'm I'm very very I'm I'm actually very upset to hear this story because like I said, man, John Kidna and his wife Jennifer are churchgoers, very religious couple, very religious family, very beautiful family, and this I don't even know how you come back after something like this. But he said that he thought it was legal because he found them online. He thought the images he shared were legal. What makes you think you can share this stuff? And it's not the only one they found. They found more material. 19 years old. Sh sharing child pornography. And the bad thing about it was, is probably was sharing it on their computer. On, at, on the computer at the University of Florida, he was probably sharing it on one of their computers at the university. 
I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how it got caught. He, you were sharing it from a computer used at the university. University of Florida's uh, computers is probably where he shared the information at, and that's how they found it. That's how they got it so quick. Let's finish the story, ladies and gentlemen. Let's finish the story. So, Florida Gators dismissed quarterback Jalen Kenna as more details emerge in child porn case. Florida backup quarterback Jalen Kenna was dismissed from the Gators on Friday, one day after he was released on bail for, uh, for an Ala, 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 Alashua County Jail on felony counts of child pornography. Kitna was released on $80,000 bond on Thursday night after his initial appearance at the Alashua County Courthouse on Thursday morning. Dressed in a dark forest green jumpsuit, jumpsuit Kitna appeared before Alashua County uh, Court Judge Mashawn T. Rawls via closed circuit television with his fist clenched and head often slumped throughout the hour and a half hearing. Rawls handed down bail amounts of $25,000 on each of the first two counts and 10000 on the three additional counts. If convicted, Kenneth could face a mandatory sentence of 20 months. A prison sentence of 20 months? It, you know... I, I, some of these, some of these things that, some of these, some of these sentences for some of these crimes that people do just don't make no sense. So what exactly did he share? I mean, it doesn't really, doesn't matter what he shared, but 20 months, that's it. <sighs> Kenna 19 was arrested Wednesday on five felony counts of child pornography, which include the distribution of possession of child por pornographic images that investigators said appear to be self-produced. His defense attorneys, Ron Kozlowski and Caleb Kenyon, argued for him to be released on no cash bond to his parents in Texas, citing state law regarding bond guidelines for the charges. But prosecution attorney Celeste Ramirez of the state attorney office argued a bond was needed based on the nature of the evidence documented in Kenneth's arrest, arrest report, which included images of pubescent and prepubescent juveniles. A Gainesville police arrest report released Thursday shared more details on the case. Per report, the National Center of Missing and Exploited Children received an investigative lead from this court regarding one of the users' accounts related to child exploitation. The score provided the uploaded IP address, which traced back to Kenneth's address in Gainesville and Verizon phone account subscribed to by Kenneth's father, John. Hmm. According to a statement released Thursday by the company regarding the incident, the score has a zero tolerance policy for child sexual abuse which does not have a place on our platform or anywhere in society. Work relentlessly to find or remove the abhorrent content and take action including banning the users responsible and engaging with the proper authorities. Chat history on the phone according to the report revealed Kenneth's intent to distribute the first two images which involved juveniles and sexual poses wearing just a bra. The final three images, according to the report, were found on Kenneth's iPhone, depicting two new juveniles in the shower touching each other's breasts in various poses. The report said the images appeared to be self-produced. <sighs> Kenneth's family attorneys are gearing up to contest the charges and clear the pair's name, though, first. They say they are offering their support. We'll talk to the family. They will handle it the way they want to handle it, said Kozlowski, his attorney. Right now, we're not considering so much. We're not considering so much how to handle the case as much as trying to get James the love support he needs right now. We'll get to the case in due time. And now that's our focus. 
Kenna's father, former NFL quarterback John Kenna and mother Jennifer Kenna, also attended the hearing. The family also has retained the counsel of Henry Cox and Brian T. Coughlin in Jacksonville to assist with the case. Conditions of his release on bond will include no supervised contact with minors under 18 and no internet access. And ladies and gentlemen, that is it. That is it. Um, let me see here. I think I have one more here, but it's pretty much the same thing. There's a picture of Jalen, and that's a picture of uh, his father, uh, jo uh, John Kitna, in court. But let's take a look at this here. Let's take a look at this video. The next case is Jalen Kitna. Simple possession 
And that is a, a distinction with, uh, with some importance, right? Um, counts three through four. Three, four, and five. Okay, the court does know um, in looking at the arrest report, counts three, four, and five are listed as possession of a photographic photograph of sexual performance by a child for counts three and four. Do you believe that that is what it's supposed to be? I believe both all the three, four, and five should be under 827.071 subsection five, which is simple possession. Okay, that's what the court has here. Okay. And kind of clerk, is that, is that what you were correct? That's what you're talking about? Okay. So yes, they did provide correct or corrected information on the first account. And then count two. One and two is uh, listed as possession and promoting um, sexual performance by the child. And that is 827.071 sub 4. Okay. Um, Thank you, Your Honor. We're not going to, uh, we're not going to, we're not going to finish this. Hold on, let me go back. I'm sorry. Apologize for that. Let me go back here. Yeah. Stop it. Let me stop that. And let me end this here. <sighs> Nineteen years old. I mean, where do you where do you uh where do you start over after this? I mean, yes, of course he's gonna get some help. You know, he's gonna go to counseling for his for his addiction. But where do you go? Where do you, who's gonna take you in after this? Who what universe is gonna take you in after this after this type of allegation? I mean, it's not a, well. They they've caught it. They've 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 got they've got what they need to put this man this this young man away. I mean, I mean from what I've read, the most he get is twenty months. Twenty months. You think that's you think that's enough? Him sharing some somebody's daughter, and 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 brawl. In, in in sexual poses or, or or two girls in the shower, two young girls in the shower touching each other. I mean the sad thing is these, these are somebody's children that's doing this. Let's put these pictures up on the internet. So it's a possibility these these parents don't even know their children are doing these type of doing these pictures and sharing them on the internet. Somebody, somebody, somebody is filming these young girls, young boys, and putting them on the internet for grown. So where do you go from here? Where do you go from here? After you get caught with something like that, where do you go next? What do you tell your parents? What do you say to your parents? What do you tell your dad? What do you tell your mother? What do you tell your, your brothers and your sisters? How do you, how do you, how do you answer to this? I don't know. Ah, me being a parent, if my child 
it was caught with this. I I think I would go in hiding. I would I would I would say to myself, I didn't failed as a father. I would say I failed as a father. If my child got caught with some stuff like this, I would say I failed as a father. But what did I do wrong? Parenting my son. What have we done wrong? Parenting our son. This, this young man was 19 years old. University of Florida, a Florida Gator, a freshman quarterback, and was going to get playing time. He wasn't just going to sit on the bench. He was going to play some games. And as you see, he played a game. He was 10 for 14, 188 yards, if I remember correctly, in a touchdown. You're not gonna get to you're not gonna get to play college ball no more, son. Jalen, you're not gonna get to play college ball no more because of this situation. Your dad has a name. He played NFL football. He could have got you, he could have got you anywhere in the world. With his name. And now you threw it all away. Because of some child pornography. This is sad. This is a sad, this is a sad story. It's a very sad story. Like I said, his parents were, were very religious. They're a very religious family. Very close family. His mom was a, um, she was a housewife. So she didn't work. She spent her time raising her children. His mom spent her time raising her children. She gave her her time and her effort to raising her children. She's she. It's not like mom had a job. She was a housewife. She spent and dedicated her time to raise her kids. Teach them about Christ. Make sure they were, you know what I'm saying? They did the right thing. They got the good education. But obviously, sometimes it's just not enough. And I'm, I can only imagine how she feels being a mother that took her, spent her life raising her children and knowing that her son did this. I can only imagine how she feels. I can only imagine how his dad feels saying my son is about to be probably a pro a pro a pro football player. It's, it looked like it, from what I get obviously it looked like it was good. 10 for 14, 108, 188 yards, a touchdown. Those are good stats. So you could have, he could have probably been better than his father. But that chance probably might not happen. That might not even happen anymore for this, for this young man. 19 years old. This is a sad story. And I feel sorry for the kid and the family. I hope the young man gets some help. I hope he does. I hope he gets some help. Hope he can get to change his life around. Uh, I don't know. What other university is going to pick this guy, this boy, this, this man up? I mean, I mean, of course he's going to finish education. But he's never going to step, step foot on another university. Is he? Can you see this young man stepping foot on another, on another person's university? And if he does, they're going to look at him. They already know. And he'll finish his education. Of course, he'll finish his education. 
but to step foot on another universe on another another university uh nah, and play university football no will he will he will he clear his will he even clear his name will even if you do clear your name the, this the your face is already in this in this in this mess. Your your name has already been ruined. It's already been ruined. Even if even if you beat this case, even if he beats this case, his name is already ruined. The family name's already ruined. He may get this way. I mean, we know we got a whole bunch of guys that they have a whole long rap sheet playing professional football. He might still get to play pro. I don't. Who knows? He might go over. You know, he might go overseas, play some overseas ball, get called up from an NFL team. Like, hey, we want you to come try out. Who knows? Like I said, we got a whole bunch of athletes that got long rap sheets that are playing pro ball. They got long rap sheets. All kind of mess when they record. So he may get a, he might get a chance to still play pro ball. He may. Anyway, man, this is a sad, sad story. I wish the best for the young man. Ladies and gentlemen. This could this could be this, realistically, this could be anybody's family. You know what I'm saying? We raise our raise our children the best way we can. We hope and pray don't get in no trouble. And wish them the best. And this could be for anybody's family. Just, just, I would say this, man. I would say this. Speak to your children. Talk to your children. Talk to them. 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 Tell them the dangers, the actions, what they do can affect their life. The actions that they do. When they step out the home, even if they went at the home, anything you do can affect your life, your future. So make sure you're do, you're, you're you're making the you're doing the right things, you're living right. Be careful. This, this life is 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 not a game. Life is not a game. You can throw your life away just. Like that. And Jalen Kidna probably threw his life away. Just like that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Love, Love, and Laugh Show. I'm your host, Terry Kiggins. <sighs> Talk to your children. Tell them. You got to tell them. This, this world is not a game. You can throw your life away just like that. Love your children. Love them, hold them, tell them you love them, laugh with them, and that's the best thing you can do with your children. Tell them to live properly, love them, and laugh with them. But life is not a joke. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe to the channel. You can also dislike, you can, that's free too. Um, I'm your host, once again, Terry Higgins. Live, love, and laugh show. Till next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out. Peace.